Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. Good morning. Uh, we, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna, to gonna, we're gonna bring you up a little bit. Hang on. All right. Good morning. That's all right. Uh, BB is that smooth, mellow voice. I tell you, he does what he does, and I appreciate it. Well, we know who your baby got to sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, there's some great ones. There's some great ones, and he's certainly one of them. Oh, hey, man. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you, Pastor. I know you got a word for us this morning to get us started. And, man, I, 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 I tell you, I'm ready. I'm ready. So, hey, hey ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Pastor Mom Barris. With Christ in action, and Pastor, you got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing good news this morning, as we do every single morning. And it is news from heaven. It is good news of God's word. It is the greatest news that you and I could ever hear and pay attention to on any given day. It's important to be aware of current events and things that are going on around us. But there is heavenly news. There's news from above in uh, the good news about Jesus Christ that is a difference maker in your life and mine and every one of us. That's why the Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who will receive it, believe it, and it reveals the righteousness of God from faith to faith. That is written, the just shall live by faith. Well, friend, it is good news to bring hope alive in your and my heart. And in seizing that hope, faith then becomes the substance of the things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's the good news from heaven. The news of the earth is just a report on what's going on in the world. And sometimes that, that, that news can, can, can be uh, uh, disheartening, it can be saddening, it can be disillusioning. There's a good story told every now and then, you know, there'll be a corner that here's a good news story. But hey, uh, God wants you and I to have good news every day to empower our lives so that we can live the greatest life. That is, of course, based upon his great love for us as he himself declared that he loved us with a great love while we were still sinners. And that's why he sent his son to die for us, that we might live through him. And we pay it forward, y'all. We are paying forward the goodness of God and what he has done for us in our lives. As we talk about the greatest, Romans, Galatians chapter five and verse 13 tells us that God has called us to liberty through his son, Jesus Christ. And where his spirit is, there is liberty. But we are charged to not to use that liberty for an occasion to serve ourselves, but by love to take that liberty and serve others. That's what God does. And we're encouraged to watch what he does <clears throat> and follow him. Ephesians chapter five, verse one, as dear children. Children who are endeared to their fathers because uh, he loves them first and foremost. But then what pride swells up within any parent when they see the reflection of what they have tried to teach, model, uh, instill, instruct, impart, give, share uh, in their offspring or in whatever you are investing in. When you begin to see it come alive and come to fruition after the vision 
of what you, how you initiated and what you saw as it comes to, whether it be a business, whether it be your marriage, your family, relationships, a project that you take on, a task, a friendship, whatever it may be, when you see what you have invested in it begin to come to fruition, it, it causes you to have great joy. And so it is with God. Let's look at 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 for a moment. You're very familiar with it. It says, but you are a chosen generation of a, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a, a, a peculiar people uh, to who are called to show forth the praises of the one who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now, notice that it says that we are uh, God's chosen people, that we're chosen by God. You know, you've heard the passage that says, many are called, but few are chosen. Well, we understand through the good news of the word of God that all are chosen, according to Ephesians 1, in Christ from the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Father God in love. And so you are a chosen one. You stand and accept your chosen position uh, by God. When you accept Christ, you are accepting his choice of you in him. Having been chosen by him, we are and we get to be God's special instruments. It says in the message translation of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, you are God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you from nothing to something from rejected to accepted. See, friend, that's what you and I are called for and to in this earth and how we must steward what and who God places in our lives. The good things that God places in our lives are, a, are, are his glory and goodness being shown and given to us. But then you and I, as his peculiar treasures, his special people, those who are his agents to reflect his goodness in the world, begin to share it and to give it to others. It's about integrating and allowing his values and priorities to be what guides and determines our day by day, moment by moment lives. What are your values and priorities? What are God's values and priorities? Are you sharing God's values and priorities and are you paying it for it? Are you sharing it? You see, when it says that we are uh, his chosen people who show forth his praises, we show forth the values and priorities, the love, the nature, the character of Almighty God. What a high calling you and I have to be reflections and expressions of God in this world. Let us embrace it and live up to it. Hey, that's what we're talking about today at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, Connected Strength, the men's uh, outreach of uh, Connected is online at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You can join us by Zoom or Facebook or YouTube. You can check it out. Or you can call in and participate. Either way, we would love to discuss and talk about with you what are God's values and priorities? And are we sharing and advancing those values and priorities? That's why we're here. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion of Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. The dream of change is alive. To gather with the difference, it makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. And oh, by the way, don't forget to join us in person 10, 15 a.m. tomorrow morning, the Holiday Inn Miss City uh, Express. We'd love to see you there. That's good news on this Sanctified Saturday, Pete. All right, Pastor, we appreciate it, man. A great message as usual. And, you know, I, 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 you know something hit me there. I'm getting ready to, uh, to bring you back on. And maybe we need to have a contest, you know, uh, give away a prize to uh, a person whose name is marvelous. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, it's something I'm, I'm throwing at you. Or, or if their name is wonderful, uh, 
know, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's either one of the two, you know, give him a prize. Yeah, yeah. Well, you remember Marvelous Marvin Hagler, right? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Blessings on you, Lord willing. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye now. All right. Well, hey, listen, uh, indeed, we love a couple of opportunities to meet to see you this, this weekend online at 10 a.m. this morning, Central Standard Time. Connect to Strength uh, is online. And our topic of the forum for the day uh, is what are God's values and priorities and how do we reflect, uh, do we reflect and advance those priorities? Do we know what those values and priorities are? Are we integrating them into our lives? How do we do that? And why should we do that? And what are his values and priorities anyway? And then uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be at the Holiday Inn Express Mid-City right here in uh, Huntsville, for all of you in the Tennessee Valley area and surrounding, come out and be with us. It's at the old Madison Square Mall location if you haven't been in the city for a while. But uh, new development going in there and we're meeting in the banquet hall at the Holiday Inn Express. We're down on the end near Topgolf. Uh, just look for the banquet hall signs or if you come in, you'll see our signs and we love to see you. Until then, Remember this, God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. Have a great day.